Hey everyone, welcome back to Star Wars Galaxies with me, Super Vader Man, and our friend Crunchbar, and our other friend, Master Pilot Mendel. He'll become important for uh, a later quest for the Droid Invasion series. Actually, the last quest in that series. So yeah, I'm here, back in the uh, mining facility. Did you just wave to me? That was one of you two. But anyways, you know, last time we, uh, we toured the planet of Mustafar. And this episode, we're going to be doing, uh, probably a bunch of single-player content. Because, uh, I know I said a bunch of times in the last episode that, uh, that a lot of the quests I wasn't going to be able to get to. But the thing about that is that for one of the, uh, for, like, the Obi-Wan quests, you actually need to do a whole bunch of these quests in order to access those. So yeah, I'm... I'm sort of eating my words at this point. I'm gonna ha be having to do like half to two-thirds of the quests that I said I wasn't gonna be able to. So I'm just kinda running around trying to find... here's one. I'm gonna talk to you. You there. Your corporation... The corporation could use your assistance. Are you available at the moment? Uh, sure am. What do you have in mind? I have a bit of problem with some miners that are on strike. We've tried reasoning with them, but they won't budge, claiming all sorts of preposterous things. It's time to end this nonsense, and I've come up with a plan. Alright. What have you come up with? We need you to go into their facility and destroy the power generator. We rub out the cables around the core and then steal the core itself. They won't have any way to repair it. Well, they won't have to come up come begging to us to help them, in exchange for them going back to work, of course. Is there really no other way to solve this conflict? Oh, believe me, friend, we've tried everything, but I don't think they're interested in a peaceful outcome at all. I believe their leader has convinced them to try and take over the corporation with violence. Alright. If there's no other way, I'll help you. Excellent. The facility is up in the northwest part of the continent. Here, let me mark it down on your datapad. The reward will be, will be here waiting for you when you return to the core from their power generator. And they'll just let me walk in there. Yeah, they're only hostile towards us, it seems like. The leader of the strike is fairly clever, though. They want to sweet talk him a little to make sure he doesn't interfere. Alright, so this, uh, this sounds a little fishy. You know, just, you know run in and forcefully make them start working for the company again. You know, that that sounds uh that sounds pretty sketchy to me. So we'll go and uh go over to the striking miners camp. Luckily for you guys, since we've already toured the entire planet pretty much, I'll just uh go ahead and meet you there. You don't need to see me traveling. Alright, so we're oh, there we go. My mouse looked out for a second there. But yeah, we're coming up on the, uh, on the camp now. And we got some, uh, some miners on strike. We can attack them if we want to, but, you know, we're not going to. I'm sure their claims are somewhat legitimate. Who's this guy? Oak hard reset. That was a random Nemoidian just chilling out in his path for him. Why is he hostile? I don't know. Let's go kill him. Being hostile towards us. Asshole. You no know, challenge for us. We're crunch bar. What's this guy have? A decorated lava rock? Okay. I looted a rock, guys. Don't I feel special? Anyways, onto the camp. Alright, I think the uh, power generator is. Yeah, it's up there somewhere. We're gonna. We're gonna talk to this guy. Foreman Nerfa 
Is this the strike leader or is it somewhere else? Not entirely sure. I'm just going to assume it is. What's this? Kubaza carbine? I'm not sure it's... Oh god. Oh god, no. I didn't mean it. Run! Run from the miners. Oh god, they're falling from the sky. Okay, good. Well, I'm not gonna be collecting that, I guess. They really love their Kubaza carbines. Anyways, let's talk to this uh, foreman who's attacking me. Oh, it's just a plus mock. We can take care of plus mocks. You have to punch that raptor in the face. Alright, Foreman Nerfa. What's up? Um. I could have sworn that you could talk to, like, one of the. one of the strike leaders. Yeah, here he is. Okay. Hey, strike leader. You are tall. A lot taller than everyone else. How may I assist? This looks like a mine, but you aren't working? No, we are currently on strike. How come? Recently, we found out that one of the executives in our corporation is skimming bonus money that should be going to us, the workers. The corporation doesn't take our elite allegations seriously, though, so we're not working. You don't say. Do you have any proof? Hmm. Why do you ask? Well, I was sent here by that executive to sabotage. I knew it. I was wondering how long it would take him to resort to that kind of action. How come you're telling me? After hearing your side, you know, I'd like to help you guys out. Interesting. We asked earlier if we had proof, and we indeed do. The problem is that the executive's men will probably attack us on sight if we go near the headquarters. You, on the other hand, could go in freely. Agreed. What do you need me, what do you need me to do in there? If we give you a disk with the proof we have, you can upload it onto the corporation's communication network. Then they can't ignore us anymore. Sounds easy enough. I'll do it. Good. Here's the disk. We'll find the computer terminal inside the main mining facility. Very well. I'll return when that's done. I look forward to it. Be careful of guards in the executive's payroll. They'll try to stop you if they figure out what you're up to. Alright. So, your power generator is going to be perfectly fine, miners. So I'm going to help you out. Those dirty piece of crap executives. I knew something was up. Alright, so I guess I'll meet you back at the uh, the mining facility. Alright, so I'm back here in the mining facility. I need to find a uh, communications terminal. Where is that? I think it's down deeper into the facility. You know, upload this evidence. Is it in here? That's computer terminal. Is this the right one? Oh, I guess not. I need to find a communications terminal. Not entirely sure where to go. Can I just target communications terminal? No, I guess not. I vaguely remember seeing one. Don't remember where it was, though. Is it in this central room? Oh, mining network terminal. That would make sense. 
Yeah. Mission accomplished. I think something's supposed to happen. Not sure. Journal. Turn to the striking miners leader and let him know that it's done. Oh, okay. All right. I'll uh, I'll start running back there. Oh god. I started getting attacked by these uh these corrupt security guards on my way back. I'll take care of you corrupt security guards, assholes. I seem to have like these cryoban grenades. Or something. Small mining tool? Do you, you have anything interesting? Nope, just more lava rocks. Go ahead and take it. Where's my... there it is. Alright, let's uh... let's hope we're not attacked by any more random security guards. Well, I'll meet you back at the strike leader. Alright, so we're back here in the uh... the miner camp. And some uh... Looks like the frame rate's done. Okay. Hey, strike leader. My friend, you've already heard the good news. I believe the corporation is setting up the trial for that scum as we speak. And I've received word that they're sending a negotiator out here to come into an agreement. We couldn't thank you enough. Felt good sticking into that pompous vermin. I agree. We've, now we are by no means rich, but we all chipped in, have managed to put together a credit reward. We also have this hologram for you to remember us by. I'm most grateful. Thank your men for me. We are the ones that are grateful, friend. Take good care of yourself. So he gave us uh, 20,000 credits. Uh, not much, but he also gave us a hologram. For some reason, like, when you're looking at these holograms, like, it only looks at the base. So you kind of have to, like, look at it awkwardly to see what the hologram is. That's a hologram of the, uh, Strike Leader. Or any number of other Mustafarians. I don't know, they all look alike to me. <laughs> as terribly racist as that sounds. So yeah, that is, uh, the Moral Choice Quest. Now we gotta go back to the, uh... We have to go back to the mining facility to pick up another quest. I'll see you back there. Alright, so we're back in the mining facility. And I think I'll just go talk to everyone we need to. And then, like, so I don't have to keep on running back to... running back and forth between the mining facility and where I'm trying to go to. Yeah, I think we gotta just gotta, like, pick up all the quests that I need to. Does anyone need to talk to you in here? No. What about in here? No. I have like a list of names in front of me. Let's see. No, you're just a regular miner. I know there's someone over here. By someone, I mean a droid. Thank you for. Excuse me, friend. I'm terribly sorry for interrupting you, but I am in need of assistance. Are you skilled in the arts of combat? I can hold my own if I'm forced to. Why? Thank you for taking the time to listen to me, friend. My master has sent me on a mission to find an item of great importance to him. But where are my manners? I am Q4P3. May I bother you for your name, Crunchbar? What an extraordinary name. Now where was I? I know, my name is awesome. Your master has sent you to... Yes, of course. To find this item. That is right. It's a little pyramid-shaped trinket that is called the Codex. I wouldn't... Codex? Aspect? I wouldn't know what it is for, but it must be terribly important to my master. Now why do I need your help? Well, I may... I may have found the Codex on his this here fine planet, but it's much too dangerous out there in the wilderness for me. I see. Well, if you haven't been there, how do you know where the Codex is? That's actually the Codex? 
It will be my pleasure to explain that, Crunchbar. You see, the droids on this planet are not afraid to venture out into the wilds. In fact, it is their duty to work out there. I've been communicating with a few of them, which wasn't easy, let me tell you. Terribly basic communication skills. Well, they don't really need to communicate that much. You are absolutely right, Crunchbar. Very true indeed. Anyway, oh wait. From the droids, I found out that one of their units reporting reported coming across what fits the, with the description of the codex that my master gave me. Seeing how these very basic droids have no interest in such things, the unit must have just moved on to continue with his work. So you got the location from communicating with these droids? Yes. Actually, no. Since this happened a while ago, they had already wiped the coordinates from their mainframe. Luckily for us, though, the droid in question, shortly after he had found the item, malfunctioned. He's still out there, waiting to be collected by his owners. He should still have the location in his memory bank, and I know where he is. So you want me to go out there, find the droid, get the location of the item from his memory bank, using a scanner that I will lend you, then go and find the item and bring it back to me. Exactly, Crunchbar. I couldn't have said it better myself. Upon conclusion of your services, my master has instructed me to pay a handsome reward. Who is your master, anyway? My master is the Honorable Pond, respected throughout the galaxy for his wisdom and chivalry. Very well. I believe I can assist you with this Q4B3. This is fantastic news, Crunchbar. Do you want a hug? <laughs> yes, I would love a hug. I'll give you a hug, Pete, Q4. There we go. Take this scanner and use that on the droid to find the codex. Also, you, you will need this communicator so that we may, can stay in touch. These coordinates to the last known location of the malfunctioned droid. Good. Looks like I'm all set. I agree, Crunchbar. I wish you the best of luck, and I can't wait to hear from you. You guys freaking chatty. <laughs> huh. I don't... I actually don't want to talk to you yet. You initiate, like, a quest that I can't really do until I have a group. One of the required quests, but, uh, you know, like I said, I can't do it if I don't have, uh, like, at least one or two other people. Alright. Let's go find someone else. I think a lot of them are in the cantina, actually. But I do know that one of them is, uh, in one of these back rooms. Our friend Pozpois. Hey, Pozpois. Greetings, friend. I am Pozpois, geologist and ambassador of the Thorian people on Lucifer. I am looking for someone to assist me in the most important matter. Maybe you're the someone? I have some time to spare. How may I assist? Good, good. My predicament is this. About a week ago, when I was taking out soil samples, I came across a little strange trinket. Well, that night, as I was sleeping out in the wild, I awoke to a lot of fleas rummaging through my belongings. I chased them off, but afterwards noticed that the little trinket was gone. You think the lava fleas took it? Sounds unlikely. The only explanation I can think of is that one of them swallowed it while going through my belongings. I've been out hunting them for days in that area now. I've had no luck. Violence is difficult for me, and I'm not a hunter. Yeah, Thorians are like a naturally peaceful people. It's my hope that you can do better. Perhaps. What is the trinket? What does it look like? Oh, it's just a small red crystal. And you're going through all this trouble for a piece of crystal. It is very dear to me. I don't want to lose it ever. Please help me find it. I beg of you, I'll pay reward. Everything I have. Uh, okay, calm down. I'll do it. Where did you lose it? Thank you, thank you. Let me mark down the location in your data pad. There. Oh, please hurry! Okay. This guy's a little weird. He's, like, flipping his shit over a piece of crystal. Uh, one moment, guys. Alright, I'm back. Uh, sorry, my, uh... My cat wanted out. Alright. Where to next? Nope, wrong thing. There's no one over there. That's the medical facility. Alright, cantina. Let's 
see. No, no. Vince Paul. Please, help me. I have to get off this planet. I should take a, just take a shuttle then, friend. I've had a string of bad luck and lost everything. That's why I'm hoping that you would want to buy this crystal for me for the cheap price of a thousand credits. Looks very nice. Where did you find it? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I'm very open-minded. I came to this place in hopes of finding fortune. One evening, when I was out surveying, I saw the strangest thing. A man that was all covered in strange blue glowing dust was kneeling down and looking at something. He hadn't seen me, so I kept looking at what he was doing. After a while, he stood back up and walked away. I ran to the spot where I, thought, where I saw him, and there in between some rocks, I found this beautiful crystal. And now you're trying to sell it? I've had nothing but bad luck lately, and I've lost everything. I need credits to be able to get back home. Alright, I'll help you. You said a thousand credits, right? Indeed, we did. Here you go, all yours. As soon as you take the shard in your hand, you get the feeling that you have made the wrong decision accepting it. Not really sure what to do with it, you put it away for now. Maybe it will become useful later. Hmm. Okay, it's not in our inventory, it's just a... a quest thing. Just all these creepy-ass people. First the Athorian, now that guy. Let's see. They're just yakking it up about something. Let's talk to Ikit. Hey there, you available for some employment? I might be. What's the job? I need help hunting down a thief. I might be interested in that. What do you steal? I found this little piece of cri freaking everyone in their crystals. A little piece of crystal out in some old ruins had an interesting flaw in it that looked like a snake. As as I hadn't gone through all the ruins yet, I decided to spend the night and continue in the morning. I was awoken in the middle of the night and caught a glimpse of someone running off in the dark. As I looked through my belongings, I found the little crystal be missing. It would be hard to track the thief down, it's just that information. The next morning, I searched around the ruins some more before heading back to town. I could have sworn that I was being watched the whole time, but couldn't see anyone. I think whoever it was that stole it is still out there. Hopefully the thief will be there. How do I find the ruins? I'm sure you've seen the large volcano in the center of the continent. The ruins are to the west of that, ac across the river of molten lava. Okay, I'll do my best. Anything else I should know? I don't even care that, that much about the little crystal, but no one steals from Hickett and gets away with it. That's all. Oh, okay. Alright, um... I think that's everyone we can talk to. Let me look at my list. Yep, that's everyone in the uh, mining facility. Okay. And the ruins he was talking about are uh, these ruins over here, west of the central volcano. Looks like we have uh, two coordinates. Okay, so it's all in this little area. That's cool. Alright. I'll meet you at the last known droid coordinates. Where do I go? Get this way. Actually, before I uh, go to the droid coordinates, I looked up some information about this cursed shard quest. I got two waypoints. One of them is over here. It says that two mysterious events are supposed to happen. I guess there's, they happen at these coordinates. Suddenly, the crystal that you're given by Menth Paul while it springs to life is emitting a sharp sound that pierces your ears for a second. Then it goes quiet again, like nothing had ever happened. Huh. Well, that's creepy. Alright, um. Deactivate that. Deactivate that. Oh god, what's attacking me? Oh god, it's Tolerus. I guess this is part of the uh, mysterious events. These hollows just come out of nowhere and start attacking you. I 
That was strange. Almost like the crystal that Menth Paul gave you called for those creatures. Okay, that's... That's creepy as hell. But anyways, we're gonna move on to the droid coordinates. They're right over here, so... I really need to cut. Plug-in scanner. How does this thing work again? There, can you hear me now? Good. This looks very promising. Please proceed to the coordinates that I'm uploading to your datapad, as soon as you're able to. Thank you. Q Q4P3 over and out. Okay. Let's see what part of business. Lightning droid has some information that Q4P3. I got him really excited. Provided you with coordinates from the mining droid. Head over there and see what you can find. Okay. Oh. But well, we need to go there anyways. That's cool. We can knock out two birds with one stone. I don't think there are any birds on boost for though. Alright, we'll uh, hit up Quaz's campsite next. And climb this mountain. Probably just fast forward. Well, this looks odd. That's not a buggy texture or anything. Oh, there we go. Texture loaded in. Build some speed. Across the river. Oh yeah, someone asked uh, if you could call your ship here on Mustafar. And I checked. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no option to. I guess the reasoning there is that uh, you didn't take your ship to the planet in the first place, so you, you don't have your ship available. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, we're almost at Quaz's campsite. Creepy bastard. This must be where the Ethorian camped. Start hunting lava fleas in the area. Maybe we'll get lucky. Alright. Oh, this is a campsite, alright. Looks pretty trashed. Some lava fleas over here. Do you have the artifact? The crystal. Passive creatures and just to uh, just get a little piece of crystal, so for some creepy ass Athorian. Nope, nothing found. Not you, lava fleet queen. It looks like there's two lava fleets there. Oh, lava fleets. between the teeth. Well, at least have teeth. thought they just had, like, those little mandibles. Whatever. Well, it's between the teeth of one of the fleas, you see a red glimmer. Amazingly enough, Waz is right. This crystal is right there. As you rip it out, you feel overwhelmed by the force emanating from it. 
When you look at it, you can swear that you see the shapes of a face twisting and turning inside like it's trying to break out. Huh. I don't know about all these crystals, man. All these crystals sound pretty trippy. Alright. Go ahead and, uh, head to the Jedi Ruins. I mean, I guess it would, I guess it would make sense. You know, with, like, all these Jedi Ruins all over the place. That, uh... And specifically some ruins where, uh, where miners go crazy. It's like... You know, all these all these crystals. It's not it's not uh it's not good news. All right. Now we'll just fast forward there. All right. So we're uh, we're coming up on the ruins here. We need to talk to you for uh, any of the required quests. Let's see. No, I don't think so. Sorry, dude. This must be the location that Ikka was talking about. Search the ruins and the areas surrounding and see if you can find any trace of the mysterious thief. Okay. and hop off our speeder. Target located. Sorry about this frame rate. Oh god, we're in combat. What are we being attacked by? Oh, random lava fleet. Um, why am I being attacked by random lava fleas? I was just messing with my, uh, I was just messing with my graphical settings, and it's like, oh no, lava fleas suddenly attacking. Probably associated with some kind of quest. Let's see, pile of rubble? You dig through the rubble, and with your hand, sorry, you dig through your rubble with your hands and spot what you guess could be a, the codex from Q4P3's description. As you grab it, you hear something behind you. Where? Oh god. The Trinity Assassin. Well, F you, buddy. We're Crunch Bar. Beat you with our bare hands against your lightsaber and your force lightning. Asshole. Take your money, too. Alright. Well, there was something else here, I think. No. Right here. Okay, I need to search the ruins, see if I can find any trace of the thief. It's pile of rubble. While searching the rubble, you get an uneasy feeling that someone is watching you, but you can't see anyone. You fin finish going through the rubble, but find nothing of interest. Keep looking around the area. Okay. Um, just kind of, kind of going around. No idea where I'm going. What's this? Shattered conduit? Oh, I have no interest in that object. Don't go in the lava. Do I go up there, perhaps? I have no idea. Oh, I think over here there's, there's something. Some ruins of some kind. Hologram? An altar with a brain on it? That's lovely. This looks like an altar of some kind. Has a carved out symbol what appears to be a serpent on it. Ooh. Maybe this is where the thief is hiding. Wait and see if they come back. Okay, we need to 
I'm gonna hide here. We're hiding. Oh, hi. Illivorfa. Well, hello there, sweetie. What are you doing all the way out here? I could say the same to you, my lady. True, but I do believe I asked you first. I guess so. I'm out here looking for somewhat, something a friend lost. Oh, really? Well, I've been here for a while. If you tell me what it is, maybe I've seen it. Well, it was stolen for him, so I'm not sure I can trust you. You can't trust little old me. Have you had any luck so far? That might be your best bet, sweetie. I suppose you're right. It's a little crystal shard. Oh god. More trading assassins. Wow. This, uh... This is Thorian Jedi's. Pulling off some moves. Alright. Sorry about that. Yes, of course. It has a small flaw on it, the shape of a snake. Oh, really? Yeah, I've seen that. Where did you see it? Let me think, sweetie. Oh yeah, last time I saw it, it was in my pocket. I thought so. If you give it back, I'll forget this ever happened. I'm afraid I can't do that, cutie. Why not? Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. Because I need it, sweetie. I'm also afraid that I can't let you leave now. My apologies, but this will have to be your burial ground. Threats will get you nowhere. Very well. We'll sh see how actions work then. Alright, well, well, we'll just kick your ass. You find the shard on the corpse of the mysterious thief. When you touch the crystal, you hear a faint hissing voice. Yo. Wish to be placed on the altar. Maybe you should try and see if it fits into the indentation on the altar. I'll just take their money. I don't know. This probably isn't a good idea. Listening to the voices in our head, you know, emanating from this crystal. Let's just put it in the altar. See what happens. As you insert the shard into the indentation on the altar, a small hidden compartment flips open. Inside, you find another shard that looks almost exactly the same as the first. You should take it back to Ikit. Okay. Not sure what the point of that is, then. Maybe it's like a fake crystal that won't, like, hit, like whisper voices into his head? I don't know. Let's get rid of that waypoint. You don't need it. Anyways, let's uh, go over to Mysterious Event Waypoint number two. And once that's done, we'll, we can probably head back on to the, uh, like, make our way back to the mining facility. I'll see you at the waypoint. All right, we're on the uh, the Burning Plains, I believe, and we're almost at the uh, almost at the waypoint where the second Mysterious Event is supposed to happen. I don't know how you're supposed to figure out where to go without these, uh, without this guide I'm using. Suddenly your backpack becomes really warm. As you take it off and look inside, you see how the crystal meant Paul gave you earlier is glowing red, sizzling and melting things around it. When you cover your hands and reach for it, it all of a sudden stops glowing. It's now cold to the touch. Like what you just saw had never happened. Okay, that's creepy as fuck. Some Zandang stalkers. Oh god, what's tagging me now? Ah, smoldering lava, please. Save me, medic. You're not healing me fast enough, medic. There's one down. Those things 
kicking our ass. Heal up. Stun it. Grant us a few seconds of reprieve. There we go. That was strange. Almost like Crystal and Paul gave you called for those creatures. Yeah. This business sounds pretty sketchy. Okay, um... I don't know. Do I take it back to Menthol? Not entirely sure. I'll go ahead and get rid of that waypoint. I don't need it anymore. Yeah, one moment, one moment guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out. Okay, I'm back. Apparently, a few minutes after I take care of the thieves, the, uh... Something's supposed to happen with the shard again. So I'll just, uh... I don't know, I'll just wait around until something happens. Oh, we just got this message. I was just heading back to the mining facility. You can feel warmth emanating from the from Menthol's shard again. Not as hot this time, but you can swear that you hear a voice whispering in your head. This can all go away. Just set me free. Over and over again. You may want to think about getting rid of this cursed thing. Okay. So yeah, we uh we have two options. We have either destroy the menace, like throw it in throw it in a lava stream, or not your problem. Just uh, give it to someone, let them deal with it. Uh, we'll be we'll be destroying it. Not entirely sure if there's like a specific area where we have to throw it into the lava. Let's see, does it say? You decide to get rid of the shard. That indeed does seem to be That indeed does seem to be a curse somehow. In the center of this continent there's an enormous active volcano. We heard that a bridge goes across the river of fresh molten lava descending descending the volcano from the north. Throwing the crystal into the lava from there should destroy it once and for all. Alright, so I guess I gotta like go somewhere over here? I don't know. Probably. First, we're gonna do some stuff at the mining facility. We're gonna give the uh, the red cr the red crystal back to Poispois. We've got to uh, bring the artifact back to, back to Q4. Was there something else? Man, yeah, the serpent shard. So we'll go talk to uh, back to Ikit. Get a reward from him. So first, I think we'll be, uh, yeah, Q4 is over here, so we'll go, to, go talk to him first. There's those miners again telling their jokes and their impressions. Looks like my, uh, medic, medic buffs are almost out, unfortunately. How much time do I have on, on left? Yeah, actually, I'm gonna t go talk to Postpaw first. Because, uh... Something attacks you once you uh, finish his quest. I want to make sure I'm at my uh, at my best. Hey, boys, boy. I have your red crystal. You're back. Where is it? Give it to me. You seem a little obsessed. Are you sure it's healthy for you? No, you just want it for yourself. Now give it to me, don't you want that reward? Fine, as you wish. Here you go. Yes, yes, finally it's mine. I'll show that ghost how wrong he was. All the power will be mine. And then he starts attacking us. Pause takes the crystal in his hand. He kneels down and smashes it on, on the ground, laughing hysterically. Ha 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 all He's all mine now. What does he say? And for you, foolish mortal. Kneel and accept your reward. I'm surprised I managed to uh, to read that during combat. There we go. As you 
put poor paws to peace at last. You notice that he's, the smashed crystal pieces are still scattered on the ground. You collect them in a little box, and you feel the power with them, within them is still there. The taint of the entity that was locked inside is almost gone. We get a wild force shard. That's cool. Go ahead and loot him. Hey, there's a bandolier that we won't use. And just in time. Our, our buffs are almost gone. What's this do? Your offense ability is greatly increased. Huh. Cool, it's like a like a buff item. Alright, well, we'll be sure to use that occasionally. Alright, well, since we're already at the, uh, near the cantina, we'll go talk to Ikit about that Serpent Shard. Hey, Ikit. Get... There you are. Have you had any luck? Indeed. I found the thief and retrieved the shard. What about the thief? I had no choice. She forced me to kill her. That is excellent news. No one steals from Ikit and gets away with it. No one. Alright. Well, I have your shard. Plus another one that I found. Oh yeah, the shard. And another one, you say? Strange little things. They seem to fit together. Odd. Uh, I can't pull them apart again. Anyway, I don't want them. Take them. Of course, here's your payment for a job well done. So I guess, like, we took both shards? I thought we left the other one back in the altar. I guess not. You don't even want it back? No. Shard wasn't very interesting. And as I said, no one steals from it and gets away with it. Yeah, I get it. That's right. Don't you forget it. Alright, we got 20,000 credits, and a Shard of the Serpent. What does this do? Okay, so, uh, makes us more resistant to damage over time effects, like poison and bleeding and things like that. So that's cool. Now who do we talk to? We gotta go talk to Q4 still. What was your master's name again? Pawn? Pawn. I have no idea who that is. I'll have to look it up and see if I can find out. Thank you for. Your back, Crunch Bar. It is marvelous to see you again. I'm getting the feeling that you have good news for me as well. I hope so, Q4B3. I found this little thing. Yes, this looks... Wait, no, this is not it. It's interesting, though. It seems to be an ins information storage device. Something odd about it. I think it has a secondary function, but I'm not sure what it is. What kind of information is stored on it? It's very old, and I can only discern a fragment of it. The rest seems to be corrupted. It says, Was it going according to plans yes until yesterday? The weakling Jedi had some sort of secret weapon, and I can feel the effects of it already now. I can sense that our master knows what it is, but he has revealed nothing, only forced us to press on even harder. How odd. I wonder how old it is. Anyway, I'm sorry it's not the Codex. As am I, Crunchbar. Nevertheless, you have performed your part flawlessly. I am obligated and honored to reward you for your services. You can keep this device and I will deposit 10,000 credits to your bank account immediately. Most kind, Q4P3. Thank your master for me. I will indeed, Crunchbar. You take well care, care of yourself now. You take well care of yourself now? Uh, whatever. We got a Sith Holocron. Well, okay. What does this do? Oh, that's another buff item. I can enhance your combat ability if, capability if you dare use it. Well, I don't think uh, I don't think we want to mess with that. Who are these guys? Annie and Zor. Huh. I wonder what these guys are doing here. I wonder if they're doing like uh like the same quest that I am. I'll ask them. All right. Um 
I guess we'll go ahead and do the cursed shard quest. Go destroy it around the active volcano. I think it's talking about this one. It's talking about a bridge. I don't know, it should be somewhere around here. Or maybe it's right here. I have no idea. But anyways, you know, let's go there. Alright, we're coming up on the active volcano. Normally I have to uh, go all the way around, but I'm going to see if I can cross this uh, little thin patch here. Save us some time. Save myself some time. Let's see. Uh, that's going to be a stretch. Let's go for it. Ha ha ha! Awesome. Oh, there's the uh, shield deflector that Anakin and Obi-Wan rode on again. So yeah, I just saved myself like 10-15 minutes. Alright, bridge. Here's bridge. Is it talking about this one? Let's go over here and uh, see. Oh, from the north. Okay, so I'm on the south part right now. Alright, so I need to go to the north of the volcano. Over here. Let's see, where's this bridge? Should be a bridge somewhere. This is the northern stream. I guess I'll just follow the stream until I see a bridge. Maybe it is talking about this bridge. There's no bridge over this, uh, this northern stream. Oh, okay. As you get close to the volcano, the shard springs to life again, and the whispers in your head. And the whispers in your head grow stronger. Yes, keep going. Set me free at last. I can't take any more. I guess it wants to be, like, right here? Perhaps? Take one last look at the shard, and then toss it into the molten lava. As it sizzles and disappears under the surface, you can swear you hear the whisper saying, Free. I'm finally... F and that disappears. Okay. Um... But now... Okay, I destroyed the shard. Something's supposed to happen now? Okay. As you start to leave the area, you notice something shining among the rebel lava rocks at your feet. It looks to be a pair of strange alien gloves. Maybe the bad luck the cursed, cursed shard it brought is that it has gone already. Okay. You can get some microsensory mesh gloves. What do these do? Healer's touch? Let's go ahead and uh, equip that. Okay. Let's take off our appearance gloves and our regular gloves. What does this do? Agility and stamina. Okay, it gives us 20 agility and 20 stamina. Okay. What are our old gloves give us? Well, this gives us agility, stamina, and strength, so, you know, forget you gloves. Oh, my old gloves back. They're better. Re equip that appearance item. There we go. So that quest's done. Let's see. What other quest do I have? Look at my sheet again. Okay, it looks like I completed. 
Okay, there's there's a bunch of quests that I need to do that are like out in the wilderness. So one moment. I need to put in some waypoints. Alright, I'm back. Okay, it looks like I have uh oh. stuff all over the place. So, uh I guess I'll go this way. I don't remember what the quest was for this one, I just wrote down the waypoint. So yeah, I'll go and meet you over in the uh near the Stormlord ruins. Alright, we're coming up on the area where we're supposed to be. Sort of like in this set of ruins. Oh no, it's past this set of ruins. Okay. No complaints. Let's see what is here to initiate this quest. Oh. I like these little a will wisps like floating around this buried tablet. Expecting this object starts a quest. Would you like to accept this quest? Yes, I would. There's a buried tablet stuck in the lava rock. You can only see the top half of what's written on it. From what you can make out, someone referring to themselves as a knight explains that with recent developments, she's forced to hide something in the vault. The location of this vault is on the tablet as well as the sequence needed to disable the security system. Unfortunately, that part is cut in half. You quickly copy down what's written on the plaque into your datapad. Okay. So we need to go to this secret vault. Fortunately, it's on the other side of this uh, mountain. This uh, impassable mountain. So I'll just go ahead and meet you there. <laughs> 